flashing. Yeah. Zero kilometers left. We are in a lot of trouble. We're we gonna risk it. We're dead. No. See if it'll start. No, it turned off. We're out of fuel. Excited, Anna? Yes. <laughs> well, we're off on a huge adventure. Eventually getting to Lightning Ridge, we're gonna do a big circle. So uh, we better hit the road because it's actually getting quite late in the day. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be camping at Bingara. Anyway, let's get cracking. <laughs> Uh, back in 1949 was the first Australian Grand Prix. First Australian Grand Prix right here in Leeburn. I mean, this is absolutely sensational. And you know what's even better? The beer is bloody cold. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, how did you end up with the pub? Well, Rebu, it's, a, um, it's funny that my parents, uh, my grandparents had pub here in Warwick. So it was, um, uh, my grandparents got the pub in 1967, which is two years before I was born, so that gives you an idea how old I am. Uh, and our family ran that pub. Um, you know, I grew up in it, so I sort of had that background. And then uh, uh, went off and went to uni and did IT and worked at universities and all sorts of stuff for many, many years. And uh, when I got sick of uh, listening to people complain, I thought, I oh, know, I'll buy a pub. <laughs> And oh, no, no complaints. I don't know, know. No, no. I don't know what's going through my head. <laughs> oh, glutton for punishment. But I mean, you can be having a beer with everyone. But this place would have such a cool local spirit to it. And, and the characters, you know, that are cruising around at the bar and whatever else would make this place like just a, just a great atmosphere, wouldn't it? Yeah, there's some really interesting characters around the place. And it's um, like Leeburn's only a little town. It's only um, 400 people live in town, and it's, even the, the postcode's only 600. So it's only a little place, uh, but we are the only pub, so that's one of the for us. But um, uh, pretty much this is the social centre of town, so everyone's mm. here at some point. So it's, and, uh, uh, it's a love, bit of fun. I love your sign that's up the back there that you need to have a look at. Yeah, it's 365 yeah. days a year, yeah. folks. And there's only 400 people in the town, so they nearly take turns one a day of being the local run. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, if you are traveling through this neck of the woods, make sure you stop here for an unreal counter lunch or counter dinner and a, a nice cold beverage of your choice. Anyway, we've got to get to Bingara tonight, so we're going to have to crack on, otherwise, uh, this is going to be a long day. 
gotta be my last one, otherwise I might have to just camp here. <laughs> Cheers, Hannah. Well done. We get to the first part. Cheers, Aiden. Cheers. How's yeah, that cannon going? Good. Yeah? yeah? Comfy? Yeah, definitely. It'd be way more comfy than the, the uh, little uh, Suzuki, I think. The Suzuki's been sitting around. Good to see every washing bar. machine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sure we'll get used to it. Cheers. We'll order some lunch and uh, get cracking on the road. Cheers, mate. Chris is such a cool dude, right? He owns a pub. And he owns a chopped 100 series with an FTE. I mean, he's got soda streams hooked up in the back here and induction cookers. Mate, run us through your weapon of a rig. I mean, you're into four-wheel driving, you're into pubs. Like, guys, if you're watching this channel, you have to come here now. <laughs> Mate, this was a um, uh, labour of love. So it was two years I've worked on design and what, what I wanted and... You know, going to all the shows and going to all the, the things and looking at everyone's canopies and seeing what was there. Yep. And then designed it all up and drew it all up and took it down to um, uh, some mates down at, uh, at Sumner. Uh, yep. The guys at um, uh, oh, uh, yeah, Custom yeah. RV. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. Two young fellas. Yeah. Um, they did it. Uh, they did the work on it. Did some awesome work and they loved it because we were actually designing as we went and making changes as we went. But... You know, the things that have done to it, I mean, as you can see, it doesn't look, you can kind of tell it's 100, but uh, a little bit difficult. There's not a single Toyota badge anywhere on the outside. The only badges I've got is the old chopper <laughs> uh, sitting in there. But um, as Toyotas go, there's Toyota's finest yep. uh, under the bonnet there. Which, so the old 1HD FTE, in my opinion, is the, the best motor Toyota have ever made. Um, but to boost it up, you know, we put a proper, uh, a good high flow air box, four inch intake, it's got a G turbo, uh, it's been chipped. Uh, of course, the second fuel filter, catch can, the standard stuff uh, yep. that you want on any four wheel drive as you go anywhere. Uh, and it makes uh, about 350 horsepower, 700 Newton meters of torque, and it's done 460,000 Ks, and it just goes like a train. It's and awesome. no slouch at all at that. No, no, it gets along. But you know what? I'm really keen to check out this soda stream you've been telling me about. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, what's uh, we uh, we like getting there. We're actually uh, working on two trips, mate. We're going to the uh, going to Fraser in May. Yep. And to up to the Cape in September. Yep. So uh, when we go on those trips, because uh, there's only so much beer you can carry, realistically. <laughs> uh, so we take uh, bottles of rum. Uh, so you and, can get uh, a whole lot more bottles of rum in. Yeah, and I've got cartons of beer. <laughs> and I've got an 80 litre water tank underneath. Yep. And um, rum in that. Which comes out through, uh, I've got a water outlet there, yep. which we plug the tap into, so that we can access the water as we is, need. Is it water or is it rum in that? Well, that's, that eight, eight? that's just the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we just, we just cool it down, uh, and then when we're ready, we just uh, fire up the soda stream. There we go with that. Make up our Pepsi Max, pour it into the, pour it into the rum. And we're good to go. So all I've got to take is a couple of bottles of rum and I'm covered for well, at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I reckon I'm going to add a soda stream to all my canopies now because I think that's an absolute cracking idea. It's great for even if we, you know, you've got the kids and, yeah. the, and they're always, mm, don't want water, Dad. <laughs> you've got your own, your own soft drink on tap whenever you want. And it's, however remote you are, it's, as, it's the same as, you know, there's only so much beer you can uh, travel. Yeah. With there's only so much soft drink you can travel with as well. Well, that covers it off. Absolutely, and you've got the Red Vision and all the rest of the stuff. What batteries are you running? So it's got a. I've got two um, DCS lithiums under bonnet, so yep. I'm all lithium right okay. through the whole car. Yeah. Uh, so I've got the twin. Uh, they're twin nineties under the bonnet, and there's a 200 amp hour Enerdrive. Oh uh, right. Behind the fridge because the, the the depth of the fridge just left this perfect space behind it. Yeah. Which the the two hundred lithium fits into nicely. Well, when you uh, when you're travelling really well. distances and all that sort of stuff, you've actually got to work okay. out how to pack the things in there, don't you? And, yeah. And that wastes of space. Why wouldn't you put a battery in the wastes of space? Well, uh, I mean, you look at. Uh, I mean, even the because these are just standard um, Dunna Watson yep. uh, bits, and they're designed for the canopies that have a lip on them. And I don't have a lip; mine's flat. Mm. So. We made up a box that sits underneath. That's my soda stream gas. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Sits in underneath. And then underneath this one, that's our table. So that's our table we sit around. That's so if it pops fantastic. out and we've got him. You got the travel buddy. 
Oh yeah, pizza pie. <laughs> Bloody pie oven. But we we cook whole chooks in it. We do uh, veggies in it. We do all sorts of stuff. We use it a fair bit. Unreal. <laughs> it's burnt old jokes too, apparently. Yeah, yeah, Ruth's, Ruth's around the corner Ruth's giving me the actual back. true story. <laughs> and you were telling me about this bit here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so we've got you know heaps of storage there. So that's all, um, all the kind of bits and pieces you want while camping. Yep. Uh, and then all of our sort of cooking stuff is in there. So there's a, a twin burner induction cooker. Uh, steel pans because you've got to have steel to yep. work with induction. The alleys, alleys don't work. Okay. Uh, and then I've got two tubs, two of the nice clear top uh, bags. One's got all the cooking stuff in it. One's got our knives and forks and plates and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then of course, you know, a couple of stubby holders, the fancy stubby holders, <laughs> more stubby holders, <laughs> uh, yes. sitting through. So the the way we kind of work um, is that we do all of our prep here. So you've got the pantry and the fridge yep. and, and all the prep gets done here and then we come around the corner and where my, where my toolbox is that's got all of our recovery gear and tools and everything in it yeah um, that lid down that's where the induction cooker sits so we actually cook on this surface here it's got a light the awnings 270 so it comes all the way around uh, so it's all under cover you haven't and got it all really well. sorted out. And on the other side, you said you just used the storage, like so, maybe your chairs and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, going yeah. There. so the other side's just open storage. So we can set it up as we want and put whatever we need Absolutely in it. So we throw. We, fantastic. We, can, we throw our swags and stretches because we, um, yep. we go swag to get fishing lines up. Yeah. That is the go. Pinned up under the, under the top. A bit of a few tie downs and stuff so that we can actually make sure things don't bounce around too much because we, like, this is a, it's a toy yeah. and, it, and it's, uh, you know, I haven't spent all that money just for looks, but no. spend it to use it. So you'll Absolutely. see there's big bends and no, big that's scarfs it. off stuff. And if you look around the other side, there's a couple of good scarfs in it yeah. that I've done at Cape York and Springs Forward Drive Park and, <laughs> and stuff like that. We, Bloody um, Lucas, we strikes again. Get, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you got in your toolboxes, mate? This one's the water. So it's, it's actually got a few air tools, a few bits and pieces. Uh, but it's also the main water pump. Oh yeah, water pump. It sits in there, but the, with the, the way the water pump works, there's actually a hose in here, and I can switch that lever to either take water from the tank or to take from an outside source. So what we've done a few times is switch it over to take from an outside source and to run a shower, yep. um, or to just to hose the car down well, yeah, uh, when it's covered in dust. Uh, because we've got, um, uh, it's got a, so there's a water outlet just there, yep. uh, on an airline. Yep. So, uh, and that's connected into the Glint heat exchanger underneath. Oh, so we get hot water on hot tap. Hot shower. So we get a nice hot shower uh, as we want. You're not roughing it then. You're, you're oh, no, no, I know. Really for the and water it's actually a bit hot. Uh, <laughs> that's why we've got the, yep. the shower tent up the front because this is where the, the shower actually sits. This is bloody so sensational. And there. you got central locking. Yep. Everything you know? locks. Uh, everything that's, locks off the off the key. You've thought of everything. And you know what? I've been wondering. Seen a lot more people running these falcon tires, these yeah. wild peaks. I mean, have, a, you, have you got a good run out of those wild peaks? Yeah, they've done. Uh, I've had them on uh, probably. We did one trip to the Cape on 33s, um, and this car on 33s, which is kind of what it's meant to have, just doesn't look right. It looked out of proportion. Yeah. You put the 35s on, you stand back, and you think, no, that's, that's yeah, how it's meant to be. Um, so it actually, I spent probably four or five months trying to find the right wheel and tyre combination um, to get the right wheel that looked. Yep. The right with the car uh, before I settled on the RHs. Um, and the, the Falcon tyres were actually recommended to me by um, a couple other members in the four wheel drive club. So they were they said they'd get you know they're good traction, go well. Yeah. Uh, and I've run these. And like you said, run this these is a touring car. Yeah, this is, you know, this you don't need the real touring. soft rubber to do the gnarly hill climbs. You need yeah, yeah. it to actually last and so you can like do the trips like the Cape York and things yeah. like that so and these, do the rugged So you see there's, fe there's still a, like, quite a lot of tread on them and they've done 50,000. Wow, <laughs> that is good. So they've, they're going pretty well. A little sneaky bit, so what looks Ooh. like a second fuel cap is actually airbag controls. So it's, got, it's bagged at the back for, yep. for extra support, um, but they're connected through the internal compressor. So there's a, a twin cylinder ARB compressor sitting under the fridge in the centre console. Because yeah. everyone's got a fridge in the centre console. <laughs> <laughs> got to have well, a We actually have to check out the, the interior <laughs> now. So the, the, the compressor sits under there um, and it runs to, I've got multiple airlines around the car, including a big hose that comes out of the other side, the air tools if you need it. Um, but 
basically once the compressor's fired, you can just set the, the yeah, airbag right. pressure. There's a gauge in there and you set them up to whatever you want. Tell you what, this is absolutely sensational. But I'm going to go jump around on the other side because yeah, I'm yeah. getting burnt feet. It's that hot here. Well, yeah, she's warm. <laughs> 34 have degrees. A, have a look in that interior. I'll meet you in there. Have a crack at these seats, Chris. So what brand? Who, who's made these ones? So these have come from, uh, I can't remember the name of the, the mob in Brisbane over up in the north side, up in Brenda. Um, so they're a Falcon XR6 yep. seat frame um, on the Hurricane adapters yep. uh, to, to fit in. Uh, fit into this. The reason I've got XR6 frames is so that, or the, the Ute ones as well, uh, is so that you can uh, push the lever at the back and they fold forward because it's a, mm. so I want a Ute one so that yeah, I can yeah. actually fold the, the thing forward and get him behind because my uh, core recovery gear is behind this seat and my um, fold up solar panels behind that seat so you want to be able to get in behind because we try and have all of our recovery gear at close hand so the winch controls are in the little nets on the back, um, snap straps and Oh, everything's soft shackles, they're all sitting in behind. So you can actually grab them, that's sitting a really good idea. So you don't, you know, have your canopy half like wedged into something and you can't get your recovery gear out. Yeah, and that's that's exactly right. And plus if, you, if you're if you in a situation, you want to be able to get out it fast. And that was one of the things, uh, one of the great things about being in a four-wheel drive club is you, these are all the things you work through and learn through mm. uh, and they sort of teach you as, as part of it. And as you learn how to do safe recoveries and learn how to you know, use your winch properly and do all those kinds of things for when people do silly stuff like you do. <laughs> <laughs> and the little hooks oh. on the backboard there, they're the little niceties to yeah, hang our nice so clothes up when we go somewhere. How yeah, good is so that? You can That's actually so you pack can all hang. your camping gear and hang your nice clothes and my handbag so got, up behind yeah, there and everything. Hang out, hang uh, coat hangers so up the back here and then there's a special hook here for Ruth to hang a handbag on. So there's nothing <laughs> around your feet or anything so like that. That is, that is really cool. You guys have thought of so much stuff. I mean, you've got reverse cameras, you've got red vision inside, you've got UHFs, I mean you've got multiple. Yeah, um, got two UHFs, yeah. so one is for convoy, Yeah. so when we're chatting and with all the 40. other people on the convoy and the other one sits on 40, yeah. and the, the one that's on 40 is on the roof so that it yeah. gets longer range. How good is that? I um, mean, and the, a little trick I discovered, so with these, so that's the, the GME with the magnetic clip, yeah. but you see it's got it's flush mount. Yeah. So the magnet that sits inside the plastic case that GME provide, yeah. um, it's just loose in there. You unscrew it and all you've got to do is do a little step down drill into your dash and a tiny bit of glue on the back and it means that your stuff fl sits flush and you don't have that big ugly plastic holder sitting there. Well, you can see the cogs going in my head, folks. <laughs> That's what we're going to be doing from now on. Makes it really easy. And, there's, and I've got the connector on there, so I can just remove it any time I need. You have thought of everything. I mean, cold beverages yeah, yeah. in the, in the fridge Senate in there. Fridge fridge. in the Senate console. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. And thanks, Ruth, for uh, you know showing us around this unbelievable touring weapon. And it doesn't, it's not just functional, it is super cool looking also. <laughs> And uh, like I said before, make sure you call into the Leeburn pub and have a nice cold beer. And if you're into four wheel driving, I reckon you could spend hours talking to Chris and Ruth, <laughs> getting some pointers and getting some mad tracks of where they have been. So uh, stay tuned. We're about to uh, head off to Bingara and uh, try and catch a cod. How cool were Chris and Ruth at the Leeburn pub? Huh? They were so lovely. They were. I mean, they had unbelievable meals there. Oh, yeah. Nice cold beer. Yeah. And they're four wheel drivers. They are. They're Greg and Sick. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's a 100 series FTE, okay, auto, chopped into a single cab ute with a mad canopy and tray set up on the back. I mean, absolutely fabulous. I love road trips, Hannah. You know, like we're just cruising along. You meet so many nice people. You do. Like, we'll go cod fishing tonight yeah. down in the Guida River. It's gonna be bloody sensational. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> oh, nothing like road tripping, camping, and, and then. And watching me struggle to put the rooftop tent up. Ah, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, I've been instructed that I have to help. Well, you better make more. Oh, well, I mean, you know, we, we, we're going as fast as we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in a jiffy. Oh, back a gear it goes. <laughs> Uh...
a few inches later. What's going on with the fuel now? Uh, someone <laughs> said that we'll make it to Inverell. Uh, we don't need fuel. At that point, we're at two bars. We're at two bars, only had 50 k's to go. We are now at one bar. It is flashing. We've got the fuel light on, and it's saying zero kilometers left. Oh no! Well, who needs fuel? What? Well, it's saying that we got, I don't know, 25 k's to go. Yeah, we got a jerry can, so it's okay. A few moments later. I don't know what you're worried about. We made it! I wasn't worried. We didn't have to fuel. <laughs> oh, have faith, have faith. <laughs> Oh, you put Nutella and condensed cream in. Okay, never mind. I won't. Actually, no, 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 Dad. I won't have a coffee because I wanna, I wanna have a hot chocolate at the, at the um place. You wanna have a what? I wanna have, I wanna have a coffee because I'll have a hot chocolate at the, at the place. Ah, don't touch. Ah, I hold my rod. See this year? This year it's got to come around. So, and it's very, very simple. So you climb up here, do that, push that around, and that folds over. And then what we do is we just push this up with the ladder. All right, and then we've got to put the cover on it. wasn't it Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> we ended up leaving work really late, like nearly lunchtime, and then uh, we stopped off at the Leeburn pub, um, <laughs> ended up catching up with the owners Chris and Ruth and then checked out their four-wheel drive, that was pretty cool, and uh, then we went across Copeton Dam Wall, yeah. which was oh, it's absolutely stunning there. And, uh, I we nearly ended... hit a cow. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and uh, we ended up down here in Bingara at uh, the Guaida River, and it's like a free camp area. It's absolutely sensational. We've done a bit of fishing this morning. Aiden caught a, caught a turtle. He did, he did catch a turtle. And now, we're heading off to the Bingara Bakery to get a nice 
you know, sausage roll or mad pie for breakfast. Yum. <laughs> anyway, on to Lightning Ridge. later. <laughs> um, We're dead. No. Let's see if it'll start. <laughs> we kind of, we kind of it. It's, it's not liking it. No, it turned off. We're out of fuel. We're dead. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Here comes plan B. <laughs> Righto. <laughs> Jerry can. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have Puddle. <laughs> I had to scull a whole heap of water. <laughs> so we're just going to uh, cut this. It's a sharp knife. Nice knife. Um. Does that sound alright? Yeah. No, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I'll hold the funnel. 
Can I see how, how if I can get it out there? You want it, darling? It's too heavy. Yes, okay. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That stand out of the way, because I'm not going to be very good with this journey. If I get the all away from me, I'm not going to be happy. Oh. Oh. Hopefully it will live. I have a cut on my wrist I've just found out. <laughs> <laughs> Is it stinging? Yeah. Oh, you spilt it. You spilt it. No. Did all the fuel go down there? No, I went through there. You sure it went through there? Even when we fill it up at the dance, it's it oh. There you go, so you hold that up. Straight. So I showed you, you've got to hold that in with one hand. Oh! So put your thumb there, hold that so it's straight, and then screw it in. Who told me that originally? I did, three times. Luckily, we filled a jerry can. Yes. All right? <laughs> when we get to Mungandai, we're filling both jerry cans. Yeah. In case this happens again. Sounds good. <laughs> Alright, see if it'll start. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah! We got light. Give it a rev, see if it's still gonna run. <laughs> oh! We're off! Saved for the servo in Mungandoy. What have we learnt? Other than you've just eaten a um, <laughs> Easter egg type thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what we learnt, folks. <laughs> I learnt that uh, we need to get a long range fuel tank in the chimney. Mm -hmm. It's obviously not getting you know that far before we have to um, put Jerry's in it. If we can't get a, um, a long range fuel tank soon, enough before we uh, leave for Western Australia. We just have to make sure that, uh, you know, we've got enough fuel in the jerry cans. So, roughly takes 40 litres yeah. in the fuel tank, and yeah. we've got 40 litres on the back. So we've got two full tanks. Yeah. But if we had two jerrys on the back and a long range tank, I Where reckon, I think we'd be in a far better position. Yeah. It was funny though, <laughs> running out of fuel, because that's how we'd have to do it. We'd have to drive and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive. Oh. Go, oh, time to put it in. Because <laughs> we were on cruise control and all of a sudden it just started, just went, <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very funny. <laughs> well, Hannah, had to detour off the dirt road we were planning on doing. Yes. And it's already like yeah. blood country out here from when um, Lightning Ridge got flooded a few weeks ago. And the roads here have been popped an absolute hiding. But we've just driven into a big massive storm again. Like, we wouldn't have been able to talk to you before because it was absolutely bucketing down. We had to drive at like 20 k an hour. Yeah. The rain was that heavy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no more dirt roads for us heading to uh, Lightning Ridge because no. you know we don't want to be uh, camping on the side of the road. No, and I also just drove through like a bunch of puddles <laughs> and a bunch of bumps. Yeah. And I've got a date tonight with 
bed and a shower. Yes. Not with dirt on the road. No, I'm looking or mud, I should say. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a shower this morning. Yeah. Well, last night we camped. Tonight we'll uh, be in a uh, big four caravan park. So it'll be the go. Yeah. Nice uh, toilets and showers. Then ready to explore what Lightning Ridge has in store for us yeah. the next day. That's so exciting. Ooh, maybe some mine shafts to check out and go underground. And... I'm, to it, I'm so excited. That's if we make it. We'll make it, we'll make it. We're only you sure? Going... You yeah, sure? Yeah. We might get flooded. I got the blame for you running out of fuel. Am I exempt now from the blame seeing I'm filling it up? Because, yes. hey, I didn't check that you actually got it full last time. So did you actually get it full? Yes, and you did check it last time, so huh. Ah! It's leaking! Made it to Lightning Ridge, kids. Yep. You know what? I'm looking forward to getting these uh, hot artesian spa behind me to rinse off all the dust of going through all those dirt roads. You know, we left Bingaroo this morning. You know, you caught a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Hannah was very upset that the turtle ate the bait. <laughs> was that the turtle? But anyway, <laughs> we've uh, we've made it here. Some trials and tribulations, I can tell you. We thought we we're going to get stuck yeah. in that rain. Weren't we? And we're slipping and sliding. Yeah. Cars turned around, but no, the little chimney just persevered. Yep. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked what you've seen on this episode, folks, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified of the more shenanigans to come out here at Lightning Ridge. Bye. <laughs>